the the current design, so the, the version three of Optimus, I think is the right design to go to volume production, but it is a significant redesign from uh, version two. Um, so, uh, in fact, almost nothing stays the same. The new face is now equipped with an LED screen with brightness over 600 nits, providing clear visibility even under strong lighting. With a dedicated processor, the robot can respond with emotional expressions in just 80 milliseconds. So, what does Tesla aim to achieve with this facial upgrade? Before we begin, please help us reach 15,000 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great episodes about Tesla Bot, Tesla EVs, and the latest news. What changes did Tesla make to the robot's face in Gen V3? In the third generation of the Tesla bot, the face has undergone a significant design revolution to better fulfill the robot's role in living and working environments alongside humans. In previous versions, Optimus's face was merely a smooth plastic mask with no expression, symbolizing a purely mechanical being. However, in Genesis 3, the front of the robot has been completely redesigned, incorporating elements of technology, aesthetics, and applied psychology. The first and most important change lies in the material used for the face. Instead of using hard plastic or other easily manufactured materials that lack flexibility and cannot display information, Tesla has switched to a high-resolution LED screen. This is a strategic leap forward, as the LED display not only enables facial expressions such as blinking, raised eyebrows, or emotional states like happiness, confusion, and attentive listening, but also functions as a visual communication gateway between the robot and humans. The use of an LED screen also allows for periodic software updates to improve facial expressiveness, rather than being limited by a static physical structure as before. Very few humanoid robots on the market today can achieve this. Boston Dynamics and Agility Robotics, for example, still don't equip their robots with facial displays, instead relying on audio systems or simple signal lights. Meanwhile, Tesla has chosen to turn the robot's face into an active communication tool, reducing the mechanical impression and enhancing user experience through a more human-friendly design. Besides the material, the change in color is also a noteworthy update. Previously, the Tesla bot's face had a uniform black or gray color that didn't reflect light, acting merely as a backdrop for the head. In the Gen 3 version, the front is coated with a subtle reflective paint that creates a soft lighting effect making the face easier to see in various environments from natural daylight to indoor or dimly lit settings. This paint was selected not only for its visual appeal but also to help highlight expressions displayed on the LED screen, preventing the light from being swallowed by the dark surface as in earlier versions. In the robotics industry, fine-tuning paint color is not a trivial matter. It plays a key role in how robots are perceived, especially in contexts involving children, the elderly, or people unfamiliar with automated devices. A bright, clear, and friendly-looking face can ease apprehension and foster a sense of safety. Ultimately, the most valuable aspect of the face redesign is the robot's ability to display real-time expressions. In the past, Optimus was incapable of showing any emotional state. Its face was a lifeless surface. But in Genesis 3, thanks to integrated AI within the central control system and natural language processing algorithms, Tesla Bot's face can respond immediately to specific situations. For example, when a voice command is received, the screen shows a listening status with wide open eyes. Once the task is completed, it displays done with a calm expression. And in the case of an error, the face may show a confused or apologetic look, closely mimicking human behavior. This marks a major advancement compared to today's rigid robots, as the ability to convey emotions not only makes the robot easier to interact with, but also enhances efficiency in environments like elderly care customer service, education, or collaborative teamwork. Beyond expressing emotions, the face of Optimus Gen 3 also integrates multiple sensors, such as high-resolution cameras, light sensors, and directional microphones, allowing the robot to see and hear with accuracy. These sensors are cleverly hidden beneath the LED surface, resulting in a seamless, smooth design with no exposed mechanical components. This brings two clear advantages. First, it enhances the robot's aesthetic appeal, and second, it protects the hardware from dust and minor impacts, which is especially crucial when the robot operates in crowded or public spaces. Another notable point is that Tesla's facial design choices are not random. They are based on numerous psychological studies of human reactions to robots. 
Elon Musk has stated that a robot doesn't need to look exactly like a human, but it must appear soulful enough to avoid feelings of unease or fear. This explains why Tesla did not opt for hyper-realistic human-like facial features, but instead chose to convey emotion through symbols and light. This approach helps the robot avoid falling into the uncanny valley, a phenomenon where human-like robots cause discomfort due to subtle imperfections. Instead, Optimus' face design strikes a balance, modern, technological, yet approachable and user-friendly. Once again, please help us reach 15,000 subscribers. This is important for us to stay motivated. Thank you. What has Tesla changed in the facial material of Optimus Gen 3? One of the most symbolic changes on the Tesla Bot Gen 3 doesn't lie in its arms or legs, but in its face. From a rigid, expressionless plastic surface, Optimus's face has now been entirely replaced by a refined LED screen, marking a breakthrough in how humanoid robots interact with humans. This is not merely an aesthetic decision. The shift in material reflects Elon Musk's deeper strategic vision of turning Teslabot into a communicative entity, flexible enough to work, yet friendly enough for humans to want to collaborate with. In the real world where emotions and nonverbal cues play a crucial role, a robot capable of expressing facial emotions represents a revolutionary difference. Using an LED screen for the face brings significant benefits that hard plastic simply can't offer. First and foremost, it enables Tesla Bot to display a range of facial expressions, from focused eyes and a gentle smile to processing states or even skeptical looks. Signals that help users understand the robot's current state and response in real time. In work or home environments, this removes ambiguity in communication and creates an emotional bridge between humans and machines. No longer just a cold, command-executing entity, Optimus can become a friendly partner, capable of responding through facial expressions, something humans naturally expect from humanoid AI. The material change also opens up the ability to display information directly on the robot's face. Instead of requiring a secondary screen for status updates, error notifications, or instructions, the LED face can now fulfill this role more naturally and effectively. For instance, while working in a factory, Optimus's face could show a processing status or display a simple warning symbol if an error is detected. In service environments, the robot can use its face to greet customers, guide users, or indicate states such as receiving command or please wait seemingly simple cues that are actually vital in everyday communication. From a technical perspective, transitioning from plastic to LED also reflects Tesla's increasing optimization in hardware-software integration. For the LED face to operate smoothly and express emotions quickly and accurately, the AI's graphic processing system must be powerful and stable. This showcases Tesla's concurrent advancement in hardware and software, deep learning models, behavior recognition, context-aware responses. Additionally, using an LED surface allows Tesla to reduce the weight of the head compared to incorporating multiple mechanical parts like cameras or 3D expression modules. Integrating a flat, lightweight, easily replaceable screen that's also software updatable helps simplify both maintenance and future upgrades. Equally important is the emotional aspect. Elon Musk has long emphasized that humanoid robots are not just labor tools. They are extensions of artificial intelligence into the physical world. If a humanoid AI lacks facial expression, it creates a sense of detachment or even fear, a phenomenon known in psychology as the uncanny valley. Tesla aims to overcome that. The LED face allows Optimus to break away from a rigid image and become a more lively entity, easier for humans to accept and cooperate with in both work and daily life, especially in emotionally sensitive scenarios such as elder care support for disabled individuals, or early childhood education, the ability to convey emotion through facial expression can elevate the interaction experience and build trust with users. Another key advantage of LED material is its flexibility in customization. If needed, Tesla can update the robot's facial interface via software, changing eye designs, color tones, expression effects, or even switching to a technical display mode when the robot is in maintenance. This offers near-infinite flexibility for personalization. Each Optimus unit can have its own unique expressive style, suited to its usage context, assigned role, or user preference. In a corporate setting, the robot might display formal and respectful expressions, while in a family environment, it could present a friendlier, more approachable look. Regarding cost, 
many people worry that replacing plastic with an LED screen would significantly increase manufacturing expenses. However, Tesla is clearly aiming for mass production. And, at high enough volume, the cost of LED facial panels will become much lower than mechanical systems that mimic expressions, as used by traditional robotics companies. The LED face is also easier to replace, repair, or upgrade compared to a painted hard plastic surface, which typically must be fully replaced if scratched or damaged. This shows that the new material choice not only enhances interaction, but also aligns with Tesla's strategy of scalable production and simplified maintenance. Why is it important to ensure the robot recognizes everyone accurately and fairly? One of the key concerns in developing humanoid robots like Tesla Optimus is the level of fairness in how they recognize and interact with humans. When a robot has the ability to detect faces, voices, or behaviors to deliver intelligent responses, the question arises, is the system biased towards certain users, meaning it tends to respond better to specific groups while ignoring or poorly handling others? This is not just an ethical issue. It directly affects the robot's effectiveness in diverse environments such as hospitals, factories, or households. From a technical perspective, Optimus Gen 3 uses a vision-based sensor system combined with deep learning models to recognize and analyze users. Tesla's AI models are trained using real-world data collected through integrated cameras, similar to how the company trains its autopilot system in cars. However, this very process of collecting and processing data is a potential source of bias. If Optimus's initial training data is largely gathered from less diverse environments, such as Tesla offices or factories in the U.S., then the robot will primarily learn from a group of people who share similar characteristics in terms of skin tone, language, gender, or communication gestures. As a result, Optimus may recognize and respond more accurately to individuals who resemble those in its training data while struggling with users from different cultures, ethnicities, or age groups. For example, the robot might understand and respond accurately to American English, but have difficulty with Indian accents or regional dialects. In addition, the resolution of the cameras, the image processing algorithms, and the overall data handling system of Optimus all play crucial roles. If the system is optimized to detect facial features typical of lighter skin tones, which have higher contrast under normal lighting, it may perform poorly with individuals who have darker skin, especially in low light conditions. This is not a hardware failure, but rather a known issue observed in many other AI systems, including facial recognition software from Amazon and Microsoft. However, Tesla does have an advantage that could help mitigate bias, the ability to learn from real work, real, real world experience. Elon Musk has stated that Tesla Bot Gen 3 has begun handling over 2,000 entirely new tasks through learning from experience, rather than relying solely on pre-programmed scenarios. This means that if Optimus is deployed in diverse real-world environments, it will continuously gather data from a variety of users and refine its recognition models to become more inclusive. That said, for this to be effective, the system must be designed to learn in a fair manner, without reinforcing its initial biases. The next question is, does Tesla have enough incentive to address bias thoroughly? The answer is likely yes, as Tesla aims to mass-produce Optimus not just for the U.S. market but globally. A truly international product must be able to recognize and respond accurately to all users, regardless of nationality or biological characteristics. Moreover, Elon Musk has repeatedly voiced concern over the ethical risks of AI, making it likely that Tesla will proactively work to control bias, especially as robots begin to take on roles in caregiving, education, and human support. We appreciate your contributions and hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.